There are definitely certain rules of thumbs when it comes to passing. And it's not about like, you know, being up on a guy a certain uh, distance so that they give you way to the corner. It's really about the guy next to you seeing you. So what you need to concentrate on is how am I going to be best seen when I'm making a pass. And usually what's that, what that means is it's not a last minute attempt um, where you're locking up the tires and sliding to the inside. It's basically getting a run on somebody, getting next to them, and only passing them as much as you need to pass them so that they see you. Not overshooting the corner, you know. Um, and if it happens that way, then the driver you're passing doesn't have any choice but to let you go. So it's really important that you can be aggressive when you're out there, just like you can do it in go-karts, but in a car, the consequence of somebody not seeing you and turning into you and, and taking off a corner, that happens very easily, whereas in carts you can bang off somebody. So it's all about just controlling the pass and making sure that they see you. Passing is always the trick. People do often mention you got to be more aggressive or less aggressive, vice versa. Aggression to me has never been the answer. I always felt that the most important thing you'll take or, or you'll learn as you get older and the more you drive is patience. You do get this feel of, of where you feel like your car may be a little stronger than, than the guys in front of you. Um, you know that he is going to be protecting that position all the time. You got to figure out how to get him off his mark, force him into you know maybe making a mistake, force him into getting up and offline. It's very tough, but you know some of the best passing moves that you've seen uh, uh, have been set up you know five or six laps earlier. You know you, you got to you know try and work on different areas, try and force them into a mistake. You know fill their mirrors with your car, and and uh, you know there's so many different ways of doing it, but. Um, it's very rarely that you kind of just get a pass done on, on one lap, you know, it, it takes a while to set that up. Um, on an oval, certainly you, you want to set up the, the overtaking maneuver, um, you know, well ahead of time, which, which you can do because you, you can always see, you know, that the person in front of you, the handling characteristics of that car, you know, you can see if that person is getting stronger as the race goes on or, or actually kind of coming back to you. Um, on a road course, it's, it's a little bit more unpredictable and, and still there's absolutely that element of setting the person up in front of you, but there's always a chance on, on a road course that, you know, they, they, they might miss a shift, they might lock up the brakes uh, into the corner, they might get some wheel spin on the exit of the corner, so you need, you need to have that ability to react very, very quickly, but, you know, still with the mindset of setting up the pass. What you need to do is basically put pressure on somebody and hopefully they make a little bit of a mistake, which lets you capitalize a little bit on acceleration, a little bit down the straightaway. Hopefully you can get next to them um, going into the corner. They see you, and that's how the pass is, is made. You know, I'd like to say it was easy, and you, know, you can just set somebody up, but when two guys are really good and very evenly matched, it comes down to somebody in front usually making a mistake. As I'm coming to a guy, I can already depict where he's slower, where he's faster, and I'll never show him where I'm gonna do it to him. I'll show him where I'm not gonna do it to him, uh, but I'll never show him where I'm gonna do it. And um, really, I love using picks. Like, uh, it makes it so much easier. If you're in sports car racing, there's a slower class, a faster class, wait till all of a sudden you catch one of them, he gets a bad exit out of a turn, and you just run right on by. Box him in. Box him in. And then once you get by, there's a little secret people don't know. Um, that's, when you get by, that's when the guy who you just passed for a moment, he's gonna give it all he's got. And he's gonna to try to stick with you. That's the time you have to break that guy mentally. You do it for about two laps. You drive as hard as you can, as sharp as you can. Put everything you got into there. And once you break a little bit away, he's gonna settle back down and you're gonna steal the drive away. Where you gonna make it? Take your time. Where you gonna make it? Young kids these days who, who believe that they gotta do everything it takes to, to keep the guy behind. And you know, if you don't finish the race, it doesn't really matter. So it's better to finish second uh, and have that on your resume than a DNF. So you've got to race smart. You know, when someone gets alongside, if, if they win the corner, you, it's better to give it up than, than put yourself in the fence. And you know, that's just one of the things that will help you much, much later in your career is, is you, uh, as the speeds increase, you know, so does the damage and the cost and it'll, it'll lengthen the length of, or it'll increase the length of your career not just young drivers that try and make stupid passes. Trust me, the old ones do it too. And I, I know, um, it's, I think that's part of the thing you learn in in cars. It's something you're gonna learn the whole way through and you're gonna learn, you know, and whether you're in every step of the ladder on the way up, you're gonna build your kind of, your knowledge of 
what I can and can't get away with. The problem is, is the further up you go, the more expensive it gets. There's, there's a time and a place for aggressive moves and, uh, you know, a race always looks a, a whole lot different with, with five or ten laps to go than it does, you know, at the start of a race when you've, when you've got a hundred laps to go. And, uh, you know, you'll often make a move in those last five laps that you wouldn't dream of making at the start of a race. And, uh, you know, that's just being smart, having some strategy with, with your race and uh, not taking too many risks early on. It, it's, it's easy. It's risk versus reward. You know, if you, uh, if you got a guy that's just going to chop you in a race car and it, it's, I mean, it's tough because you can't, you can't be the whipping boy out there. You can't just check up every time somebody comes to chop you or time somebody sticks it under you but it's risk versus reward I mean if, if you know that the guy's gonna turn down on you and you're gonna hook wheels and you know in that scenario most likely your car's gonna be damaged too nobody wins that battle and those types of guys most likely more than not they're gonna make so many mistakes and they're gonna keep doing it that they're gonna cause their own problem but at the same point you know there's always gonna be that one or twice opportunity that you need to just show that you're not gonna be pushed around and and you gotta know when that is and nobody else knows when it is. Nobody, you know, nobody else can tell you when that is. But the fact is, is you just gotta, you gotta know the risk versus reward. You know, if, if you're, you can always blame somebody else. Oh, that guy wrecked me, that guy did this. But in the end, you're the guy that's got the wrecked race car and zero points. I find team owners really don't like that. So, uh, so you just gotta know when, when's right and when's wrong. When you feel the hair on your neck go up, when you're going in somewhere into a pass, and you, you'll develop this sixth sense and you'll see it from above type of thing. It's kind of weird. And Joey Hand, all my teammates, they've got this, right? When you go in and it feels wrong, get out, try something else, you know? And don't make 10 passes that fail, make one passes that works. Well, a lot of people think that, that being safe and, and being fast are, are two completely different things and a lot of people go into a series thinking that they're going to be the most aggressive and they're going to win the most races and they might be the most aggressive but they're probably not going to win the most races because they'll crash out of more than they're going to win.